We're back in downtown Disney. Excuse me, not downtown Disney. This is Toontown, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm confused for the crowds. <laughs> We're gonna try some food at Daisy's Cafe, so come with us. Let's go! Another trip into Toontown, and it is still busier than ever, but apparently now they're letting strollers in. As you can see them lining both sides. Um, I will say, oh, look at the phony clouds they got up. That's good. I will say, I feel like the stroller pushers are getting more aggressive as the years go on. Um, just clipping ankles regardless. I think they should have kept it to where the strollers No strollers in line. Yeah, I agree. It takes up a lot. It does. Especially when they're like, look at that picnic, that whole stroller area. Oh no, that's supposed to be. It's a park. You know, like, Di and I went and sat over here. It's supposed to be a picnic area. Oh no, it's parking now. It says baby buggy parking. Why would you do that? Yeah. I would agree that it should just be left out there. Still crazy crowded. So I'm sorry, that's a little upsetting because the the whole I guess point was to provide more park like experience. And when we saw that there was three grassy knolls one of which you can park strollers on now, that's ridiculous. But the fountain is open and children are putting lots of things inside of it. So where the last time we were here, you couldn't go in there. Now you can. We're gonna go pick up our food. So pros of getting food at Chef's Daisy. They give you a cute little bag. I had to tear the handle, that's on me. Con, they don't have cup holders. <laughs> So I literally carried three drinks in that over, hence why this is cut. What did we get? So we got uh, pepperoni pizza. That is so greasy. What is it called? It's like the folded over pizza. Fold. Pizza fold. All right. I got a foot long hot dog. No, good we Lord. like a good wiener. They do have a chili dog, but I didn't want that. And then I didn't know the picture shows donuts, and I thought they were donuts, but they're little tiny mini donuts. Oh. Oh, and look at the inside of your bag. Because that's covered in grease that's from grease. the pizza. Let's give this all. Oh, and we got their cold brew. It looked really good. You're okay. Just don't go to sleep. All right. So I'm gonna start with this cold brew. I, I have napkins in my pocket. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not a lot. So we haven't done a full walkthrough. We came right to get our food. Um, and so far I'm very upset over that grassy knoll area. Yeah. Um, I feel, like I said, we haven't walked through it again. But I feel like in the short time that Toontown's been open, it's freaking trashed. Yeah. It, I feel like it's trash already. Yeah, I would so, agree with that. I, it's a little upsetting. I don't understand why, like I get it, this is a family park, like strollers are gonna be here, cool. But when they take over areas, I think they were fine when they were left outside. Yeah, if it worked in the beginning to leave your stroller out by the train station, keep doing that because it's it's ridiculous and it's super duper crowded. I think it's more crowded when we first came here. Yeah, it's like very claustrophobic. We were lucky to get this table. We had to get it when somebody was leaving. Just as soon as they left. Um, so this is the specialty cold brew. <laughs> they should have given you a straw because I can see all the coffee sitting at the bottom. Yeah, so it is... Joffrey's Coffee Caramel Mudslide Cold Brew Sea Salt Caramel Toffee Sauce Topped with Whipped Cream. Well, that's all coffee right there. You need to stir it. I think that maybe, maybe that's all your sugar sitting down there. Maybe I should drink it without the sugar. That is something special. So you get that caramel on your lip. From the drizzle. It is like water. 
I'm choking on something. Oh, you know what? I have a straw. Let's, let's give it a stir and see if that helps any of this situation. Disney came in handy for something with their magic tea straw. I don't think you have all three parts. Just trying to stir it. She's stirring it. Much better. Um, I'm gonna use the term much better loosely. A skosh better. <laughs> That's obscene looking. Honest to God obscene. This is dumb. I've got a good snap to it. It's an all beef dog. Um, the bun. I don't know. It's a bun. I'm not gonna be happy. It looks like it's like it, the bun looks like it's real good. The bun looks real good. Is it? I think it looks like really soft, like pillowy. Oh yeah. It doesn't feel pillowy. I can live without that. However, the hot dog is good. Yeah, um, it's for the hot dog itself. This is the Daisy dog. It says it came with house made chips. Did you choose a cutie instead? Um, for $12.99, I'd rather get like the bacon and macaroni and cheese dog at you know, at Coke Corner. I like this dog better. Do you? Yeah. Interesting. That dog over there is not all beef. It doesn't taste it. Hmm. The dog itself is good. The bun leaves something to be desired. I'm going to try this. I'm not going to try that. It looks like heartburn in a bag. Am I, no. am I wrong? No. Careful, it's going to drip. I know. all over your face. Oh, there's the bag. We've got a bit of a breeze today. You see the phony sky that Toontown's got for you? I'm going to be honest, I feel like we wasted $35. It was $27 with the discount. I've spent $27 on things that I've been happier with. Greasy. It's so greasy, like you, it's thick. Like the foliage is thick, yeah, I'm not. You don't taste anything, like you taste sauce and bread. Taste your pepperoni. Okay. <laughs> is that better? No. Okay. In my opinion. So there's it looks like a lot of mm -hmm. big huge slices of pepperoni in there. In my opinion. Yeah. If you want pizza, go to Red Rose Tavern, their flatbread's better. This is heavy. Um even Pizza Planet's pizza is better than this. Really? Yeah. Okay. If you want a hot dog, in my opinion, Coke Corner. Well, I mean if you want to eat the bun and, and all the goodness, like a the chili dog is good. Um and the coffee's not great. I do like the dog here. Um, but I do not care for that that pun. It's, it's not satisfying. There go. Hopefully the donuts can save the day because so far lunch is not. These are the accidental vegan donuts. Um, oh yeah. For some strange reason, everybody that I saw showing them showed them as normal sized donuts. Why are these mini now? I don't know. Donut. No, it's not. No, it's not. I don't know if I'm gonna eat in Toontown again. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's overly 
sugared. I think it's overly cinnamon. cinnamon. Mine was heavy, heavy cinnamon. I don't care for barely, cinnamon. Then you barely have any like donut. It's all bright side of this. We can take them home to Lonzo um, since they're vegan. Oh, but I would like to say they're not claiming they're vegan. They're not technically on the the vegan or Ooh. Disney. They're oh, not on the, the vegan or plant based menu. Um, we're assuming it's because they're manufactured in a facility that also manufactures non-vegan stuff, um, but that has not been confirmed or denied. But they're not, Disney's not saying they're vegan. So I'm looking around, I don't see anybody with the dog or this pizza. I don't know what they're eating. Um, and this is the only place to eat, right? In Toontown, unless you get the picnic basket with like little snackies. I, I'm gonna agree, sadly, I think you wasted $27. Um, so I'm sorry that, you know, people that watch us are like, you guys really wasting that food? I'm sorry. It, I mean, when you, when you get something where the bag looks like this. Look what it did to the bottom of this bag. And I get it, pizzas are greasy. Like, yeah, I'm, a pizza over, like you said, a uh, pizza plant. This is not like that. Um, like I said, this feels super. It's. It feels really doughy yeah. and, it's, and it's really heavy. Not I don't a fan. Know if that's, here, let's, let's open it. Open it. I'm going to be honest with you. That reminds, oh that reminds me of a cafeteria pizza oh God, that you, you would know, get at school. You know what I was going to say? You know when the, uh, the little league, when you're in the little league and they have the little the little snack booth. Yeah. The pizzas you get. Rolling pizza. Yeah, it's not. Disappointed would be the best the best word that I could use. Um, this might be the only good thing we have in this actual it. cutie. It's firm too, so it might actually be good. I mean, twenty seven dollars for a cutie. So, um, like I said, we'll walk around. We'll show you guys Toontown again, another revisit. Yeah. Um, but I'm super, super sad yeah. and disappointed that they've done that to the grassy knoll. Yeah, I would, I would agree. Um, I won't. Let's try. It just kind of fell apart. Sorry. It's not right. Okay. <laughs> Update. None of the food is good. <laughs> Not even the cutie. Not even the cutie. I'm um, so disappointed. Yeah. So you know, when we were talking about like, oh, what are we gonna film today? You know, what are we gonna, what are we gonna show? We said, oh, well, you know, we didn't get to go to Daisy's. We didn't really. We were skeptical because of the selection that they had. However thought no nope, we're gonna give it a go gotta give it a try you know I highly recommend you don't give it a try yeah um, yeah I would I would go on a limb to say this is my least favorite food on bar. this resort yeah. <laughs> yeah, and this I've had many of cold brews at the park it's very watered down I had we've had the cold brew from Jolly Holiday We've had the cold brew from Galactic Grill. We've had it from, I'm gonna call it the Village House, even though that's not what it's called anymore. Right, Rose Tavern. This is disgusting. Um, and Casey would, when, read it. Read the, I did. the synopsis I on. I did. It it's all so me. Like it's caramel, it's toffee, it's caramel. It's coffee. It's caramel. It's disgusting. Um, sad. Um, so, what is it called? Cafe Daisy. Cafe Daisy. I'm gonna give it a one. I'm gonna give it a negative one. I'm gonna give it, you know what I'm gonna give it? I'm gonna give it negative 27 because that's how much I spent on their food. Okay. I said a one, one out of five because I don't know why. I was just being nice. They were very nice. I think, um, maybe you I know take what? that one back. Oh. oh. 
I'm going to take that one back. I'm sorry. I don't want to lie to you guys. Um, I I have to give Cafe Daisy a zero. Yeah, it, that food was not worth twenty-seven dollars. And I know it's theme park food, folks. We know that. We've had really we've good had theme good food park. here. We had a good breakfast. We had a good breakfast. They have great pizza at other locations. We had breakfast at Red Rose Tavern, in fact. Yeah. And they gave you a lot of food. Too many tater tots. Too many tater tots. But, but they give you a lot of food. I know. Do. I had a lot of eggs on my platter. No. Yeah. Um, and that was okay. Yeah. This is not okay. Um, Oh, I give Cafe Daisy a one because of the the cool phony sky they got here in Toontown. They do have jam and music going. I'll say that. The music, music. They got really great music. Um, pre, Pre-closure of Toontown, they had Pluto's Dogs and pizza over here, yes, right? Good. Yeah. No, the pizza tastes like cardboard, um, in uh, my opinion. The pizza here before? I hated the food in Toontown before. Pluto's Dogs was good. Never ate there. Yeah. Had super high left, hopes. Left my baby there. <laughs> had super high hopes that this would be better because of, you know, all the hoopla and the godforsaken lines to eat it. All, eat here if you want to eat here, no judgment by us, no. but I have a real big I told you so for you when you say the food was garbage. Yeah. It's not good. So, if you do eat here and you have seen this video, um, message us and say, Let us hey, know. Park Gals, you guys are crazy, it was really good. If you liked the food, good or, for you. You know what? We should have listened to the Theme Park Gals and saved our money. Yeah. Let us know. Um, but yeah, that was not appetizing. Let's no. go look around and see how bad things have already turned out. Yeah. Besides that grassy knoll that I'm very upset over. Let's go. Okay. Okay. So, we talked to Ali. Well, when I say we, I mean Diane, because she's not afraid of confrontation. Not that it was confrontational. No. I get uncomfortable in those situations. So we just thought about it and thought, you know, twenty-seven dollars to just throw out the window like that is not. That's not right. It's not. So we talked to Marcos. He was fantastic. Marcos was great. Um, there we kept the hot dog. We paid yeah, for we the hot dogs. Dog. Yes, yeah, so I was like, I'm okay with the we hot dog. We ate like eighty percent of the hot dog, but he did donuts. Yeah, they're my first. Okay. Um, but he did refund us the pizza and that coffee. Oh, the coffee. Then I told I was so disappointed because I was really looking forward to that coffee. We were looking for a Good coffee. Christ on the crowd. <laughs> this grassy area, which isn't bad. Okay, this grassy area. Because, like, I feel like the strollers are with the people that they belong to. Um, yeah, however. Pop a squat somewhere with a blanket. Sit down with caution. Yeah. You guys all saw Goddess Patina's comment. Many codes have happened on these. Oh, and then let's go over to that grassy area. Is it down? Oh, it's, it is spitting water though. Dirty ship, there it goes. Same ride, different name. I don't agree on the name. I may have lost my wife. Shoot it over their head, yes. Over the head, over the head, over the head. No, no, wasted, the waste fall. Today, we already found Becky okay. at uh, the restaurant. So. Another grassy hole. Let's take a look. Oh, I found my wife. So I noticed it conveniently, conveniently stopped spitting water when the right? thing went by. I hated that. Down. I yeah. hated that. So another grassy knoll. Yeah, this one's not bad either. So it looks like you go in the back, you can yeah. drop a squat back here. Yeah. And they have water bottle fill-up stations right over there. I don't want to show her because I don't have her permission, but yeah. they have multiple water bottle stations. But this one isn't bad. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so it's just the one. How do you feel with just having the one that's compacted with strollers? No, no. 
they promoted grassy knolls that you can have little picnics in and take a cup of squat while the kids run around that's one of them that is not a stroller parking area that's dumb strong feelings are had here on this day of days i feel as though it'll never be not crowded in this park yeah i really feel that it's a possibility it's like stupid crowded too yeah i, I felt happier when we came the first time I felt like it was fresh. I don't feel like it's fresh now. Yeah, I feel like it's already, like I said, been trashed. Can you really call it a pond when there's no water? <laughs> Just saying. My best advice, mobile order, mobile order, mobile order. This is the line for daisies. So, uh, we're not in downtown Disney, I realize. Uh, Still in Toontown. The revisit to Toontown. Not very far from when we first visited. The food not good. The crowd's horrible. Keep strollers out. I'm gonna go pick it out front. You should. Keep strollers out. You should make signs. Keep strollers out of Tilling Town. Start having a petition. 100% agree. Um, strollers don't belong in here. It's too small. It's too small. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Um, other than that, you know what, Disney, the music's cool. Yeah, music's fun. Um, why? I, I'm confused at how... So this is the queue, if you look around, to Runaway Railway. Yep. Nobody's in the queue. No. Yeah, it's an 85-minute standby wait. That's what they say. I don't We should walk that. in and see where it stops when we're done. Yeah, I don't understand that. Um, so, anything else? It, it was an experience today. Yeah. Thank you, Marcos. For the refund yeah um cast members were great be kind to your cast member because they're the ones that keep this park, park running going and they clean up your mess that kid's gonna fall and break his neck so and then his parents are gonna blame disney with that our movie club we're gonna climb up there it. why not and whoever says judge doom says one of these days you idiots are gonna die laughing bye, bye.